Trini Ross is the new U.S. Attorney for the Western District of New York. She is also the first African American woman to oversee that office, which prosecutes federal cases. President Biden nominated her, and tonight, Claudine Ewing sits down for a one on one interview with U.S. Attorney Ross. It feels surreal because I was an assistant in this office for so long. I know the courts, I know the district, I know the people, I know the law enforcement agencies. So that feels very real, but surreal to be in this role where I'm leading the office and I'm leading the district. In her role, she says she wants to make this the best community ever. I mean, that's why I put in for this position. That's why I'm thrilled that I'm here to, to let my voice as a woman from the community, from the black community with black family members, um, with friends of all races and religions and cultures and sexual orientation to make their voices heard through me to make my voices and my experience mean something to the community. I think it's a voice that is really necessary to be heard, especially at this moment in time, but way overdue to, for our voices to be heard. Trini Ross grew up on the west side of Buffalo, lived in the Bailey Kensington neighborhood, raising her children. Education was key in her life. A Hutch Tech grad, it's where her investiture ceremony was held. It's where I learned critical thinking skills. What stands out is that she has always had a passion for people. I wanted to be a doer, hands-on. I wanted to do something about crime in society, not just learn about it, theorize about it, and teach other people about it. Fast track to UB Law School, and she worked in the public defender's office for legal aid. What I saw was some systemic problems in the system. Why so many arrested often had the same charges. What I wasn't able to do as a defense attorney, or would not be able to do as a defense attorney, is make systemic changes where the changes needed to be made. And that's when I switched gears and realized I need to be part of the institution of prosecutors mm -hmm. to be able to be on the inside saying, well, we should question certain things when we see them. As an assistant in the U.S. Attorney's Office, she worked on about 800 cases, focusing on white-collar crime, labor trafficking, human trafficking. Anything that is a victim crime, I'm passionate about, and that's something that, you know, this office should be focusing on, using our resources on. What is your message? Well, my message would be, if you want to take the chance to do that in this district, I will spend all the resources necessary to make sure you cannot harm another person. Those trafficking survivors are some of the most amazing women. And in my experience, they have all been women. They can be men too um, that I have ever met. They're resilient, they're smart, they're capable. They're, they need a chance. What have you learned from your 23 years in this office that's going to make you stand out I done the work. So I have an understanding, a knowledge base of how it works and the best way to work within the system. And I hope to share that. And I hope that the folks in this office listen to what I have to say because I truly feel like I have something to offer. Do you feel that you have to fight for respect? I don't. I don't feel like I have to fight for, for respect. I, at least from the people who know me. Um, but honestly, Claudine, I've never felt that way. I felt that if someone didn't respect me, that was their prerogative, and they have the right to not respect me. But when I got done showing them who I am, they respected me. She was passed over in the past for this position. It wasn't my time. It was Bill Hochul's time. And I went to work for Bill Hochul as an assistant in this office. And Bill Hochul was the one who started promoting me, so he saw the value in what I had to give, and I thank him for that. Um, and this time, it was my time. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News. And thanks to Claudine for bringing us that conversation that wraps up the town hall for this evening and for the week. Thanks so much for being here. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.